Hey there, welcome back to part 2 on how to integrate MongoDB to Unity. As you can see, I added a field on our high score table. It's called Petition and will help us to differentiate between some games. I also added a new collection User Score with the player, the score, our petition, and an insert date. To use these collections in our Realm Sync, we have to expose them as schemas. So we go to App Services, Schema, and then click on the collection and then generate a schema. This will generate a schema from the entries of our collection. So we have to do the same with our user score, but first save this one as a draft. So when we generated both schemas and saved them, we can review and deploy our changes. After that, we can enable our device sync. For this, we go to device sync and start syncing. For the sync type, we choose petition based. For the cluster, we choose our first game cluster and for our petition key, we choose our petition field. We can also define permissions. In this case, the users can read all data and write all data. You can choose from a template as well. When we check that everything is right, we can enable our sync. And after that, we also have to review and deploy these changes. So now we set up all at the server side. So we can now go to Realm SDKs to see how we can set up the Realm Sync on our client. But I will show you this in a second in Unity. So we go to Realm Object Models to see our Realm objects. So these are already C Sharp classes we can use in Unity directly. So copy the code and create a new class in Unity. So the first thing in Unity we have to do is go to the manifest file and insert a piece of code. I will give you this in the description. With this, Unity will load the Realm package from an NPN site and it also shows the package in the package manager. And from now on, you can also update the package from here. So back in our code structure, I copied and created the two classes from our Realm object model. But I added a constructor to automatically generate a new object ID and set the petition to rocket game. In the user score, I also saved the current date. So, to connect to our online database, I created a Realm controller. This one has a Realm object, which comes from the Realm. It also has a Realm ID and an RP key. In the constructor of this class, I initialize the sync. So to initialize the sync, we first have to create an app locally with our Realm app ID. Then we have to get our current user. After that, we have to initialize our configuration for our sync. And then we can create our Realm object. As you can see, some of these methods are async because we don't want to block our application till we get our connection. So let's continue with get user async. Here we can check if we have a current user. If not, we can log in with our credentials and our RP key. For our configuration, we use the petition sync configuration because we choose petition on our sync in MongoDB. Here we pass in our petition key, Rocket Game, and our recently created user. Here we also define a client reset handler if the schema changes. Here we just initialize the data locally and get everything from the server. Now we want to add a new high score with our player name and our current score. In this we first check if our realm is ready, because the realm is initialized async. If the realm is ready, we can get our current high score with our current player name. To write a new high score, we have to open a write transaction. In here, we first check if we have a current high score. If not, 
we add a new high score object to our realm. But if we have a current high score, we can just check if it's lower than the current score and then simply update the value. So let's test this out. If you start a game, you will see a bunch of log entries. As always, if nothing is read, everything is fine. So I update a high score on every 10. So let's see the results in MongoDB. So in MongoDB, there is a new entry with Bobby and the current high score 50. And there is also a new entry in our users collection because of our recently created trigger. So I hope you learned something new today. Subscribe to watch more tutorials and I'm sure I see you in the next.